Closing in on baseball this afternoon from the great state of Minnesota. The Indians and the Twins on the way next. Now from the home of the 14 All-Star Game, a look at Target Field in Minneapolis. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Indians and the Minnesota Twins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you for this AL Central Division matchup. I'm joined by Eric Harris and Steve Lyons. And Eric, let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened in the first two games of the series. Yeah, no question this is a pitcher's park. You can see it, a pretty low-scoring affair last night. Hard to generate a lot of offense here, especially in the evening. So we could be in for more of the same here in this one. We'll hear plenty more from the guys moving forward, but before we do, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Cleveland Indians, as their order here this afternoon will look like this. They'll match up against a product of the Phillies organization, right-hander Vance Worley. Defensively, the Twins will align themselves like this. Michael Bourne will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first, and they'll get the speedy horn for the first out of the ball game. Time to check out the scouting report here as we run the numbers on this 26-year-old right-hander. Carlos Santana will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First pitch coming. In there, no balls and a strike. EK, as we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here this afternoon, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. And you know, the little things have been a recurring theme on these telecasts for years now, but when you're in a losing streak like this, no matter how minor it is, it always seems like the little things are going the other team's way. That has certainly been the case these last few games. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw in time at first for route number two. This is a pretty simple play for a catcher right here. It's a nice pitch, and it looks like he might have chopped it right down off a home plate. You can see the catcher get out of his crouch, take it on one big hop, and then just make the good strong throw to first to get him easily. Here's Michael Brantley. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Brantley will take the turn and head for second now. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Boy, just another great swing right there. And he's got a few of them in this series. He gets a good pitch to hit, and he's right on it. And he drives this one off the wall for an easy double. And it might be time for them to let somebody else beat you for a change. Brandon Moss will get his first opportunity here. And he enters play third in the American League batting race. Now here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a cold strike. All of a sudden, you got to be careful now with the cleanup guy up there with a runner in scoring position. He could be in danger of giving up that first run after all. Here comes the pitch to Moss. Oh, and he drives one into deep right center. 
And they're going to strike first this afternoon as this is down for extra bases. And the run will score as the Tribe strikes first to lead it 1-0. Oh, an early strike here in the opening inning as they get that first run on the board with back-to-back -back doubles. No question, they'd love to push this out to a two-run lead or maybe even more. So with another dangerous hitter coming up, they've got an opportunity to do just that. Nick Swisher will get his first opportunity here, currently leading the league in two of the three Triple Crown categories. Here's the first offering. And that's by him. It's 0-1. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your second. And sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out. Inning over. A run for the Indians on the RBI double. On to the bottom of the first to target field. It's now 1-0 Cleveland. Starting lineup for the Twins looks like this. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. Defensively, the Indians will line up this way. Pedro Florimon will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Leading off for the Twins, the shortstop, Pedro Florimon. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Eric, you take a look at these guys as they take the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. And on top of that, they've already spotted their starter an early lead in this one, so they're going to let their guy work with the lead right away. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now here's a ground ball that will get by the mound and in the center field for a leadoff single. It wasn't just that he was getting fastballs there. He was getting hittable fastballs. This catches a ton of the plate, and he turns it around for a solid single. Here's Brian Dozier now. As he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. On to first to complete the double play. Well, no question that keeping the ball on the ground is going to be an important tool for him moving forward. This is a good start here as he bounces back from the leadoff single to get himself the nice 6-4-3. Joe Maurer will come on now, and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. First pitch on the way. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. This is past the mound and into center field for a base hit. And even if this doesn't lead to a run, it's important not to let this guy get out there and skate through the first inning, throwing as few pitches as he has. If nothing else, maybe you force him to throw another, I don't know, five, six, seven pitches to the next hitter. Let's go, 
And here's the first pitch. Sal Dahl is at the plate as he watches ball one. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. Here comes the 1-0. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. Runner on first with two away. 2-0 on the way. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. And, and this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. Here it comes, 2-1. And, and he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. Oswaldo Arcia would be next. Here he comes, 3-1. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, 3-2. And, and now, 3-2, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Three and two, here it is. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and the guy moves up into scoring position. Oswaldo Arcia will stand in, hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Catch something hard right here. Now here's the first pitch. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. And that's what he needed here with two outs. He couldn't afford to fall behind another guy here in the inning. So that's a good job to jump in that driver's seat with strike one. Two men are on with two men out. He waits. Now the pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Ready? Now the pitch. High in the air and deep down the left field line. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Twin strand a pair. They're down one nothing. Jason Kipnis will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. First pitch to him. Fouled back. And now a pitch on the way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul for strike two. And the pitch. Now a swing and a little tapper that could wind up problematic down that third baseline. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Not exactly the most convincing base hit you're ever going to see. Let's call this thing a swinging bunt. Call it whatever you want. He'll call it a leadoff single. Brett Hayes will stand in for the first time now, hoping to break out of this little six-game dry spell at the plate. First offering on the way. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Oh, and you cannot get caught making up your mind to swing before you even see where the pitch is going to be. I mean, I wasn't even close. From the stretch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Ready now on one and one. One and two as he chases the slider. 
Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Here comes the one-two. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that's going to find its way into left. Back-to-back -back knocks have him going here to start the second. Well, these guys struck for a run on a couple of hits in the first inning. Now back-to-back -back hits have them threatening here again in the second. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in now. And as you can see, he enters play with 16 home runs on the season so far. Here's the first offering. Now he runs up and gets this one down. And the pitcher, in fact, will just take a bite out of this one, an infield single. Batting ninth, shortstop, Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez will stand in with a golden opportunity to open this thing up early on. First pitch coming. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Florimon back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Well, three singles, and that had him in position to really put together a huge inning. But one ground ball might just put an end to those thoughts. The run does come in to score from third, but this is a costly double play with the bases loaded and nobody out. Now there's two outs. Michael Bourne at the plate now. As the first pitch no misses ball. to him, it's ball one. Come on, that's a strike. The 1 0 pitch. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Garcia will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Indians forced to settle for one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Indians two, and the Twins nothing. Trevor Plouffe will stand in and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game in which the team could muster all of one run. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there but playable on the infield. Santana is there to take this one, and the bottom of the second starts with a one pitch out. Well, nothing better than a first pitch pop up to start the inning. And you'll take that every time. Osmil Pinto will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. First pitch coming. And that's in there for strike one. Now the pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Here comes a 1-2. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it 2-3 to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Boy, that curveball is really moving now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it, and then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little cleanup back there and then get the put out down at first. Stepping in now, Eric Fryer. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And here's Moss to make the catch, and that's the third out of the inning. Twins are set down 1-2-3. Two, They're still down. It's 2-0.
Back alongside Eric Carros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, as Carlos Santana will settle in to lead things off here for Cleveland. Now the first pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. Now here's the pitch. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. The pitch. Fouled back. Here comes another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, you know when you get two strikes on you, you go into that protection mode up there at the plate. Let's see where this pitch winds up. Oh, yeah. That thing's nowhere near the strike zone, and that's a good job of making a guy go fishing for something he didn't really want to hit. Here's Michael Brantley. Now a check swing on the pitch inside, but he definitely broke the plane, and that's the first strike. One out, nobody on. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. And, and you'd think for as hot as this guy's been over the last few games, they might be treading carefully. Uh-uh. They're coming right after him, and now they've got him in an 0-2 hole. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here's another 0-2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. The next 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, what's the best way to make sure that cleanup guy doesn't get to hit with runners on base? How about back-to-back -back strikeouts? That'll do the job. Into the box now, Brandon Moss. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first-pitch fastball for strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And it's gone! A solo home run that time for Brandon Moss. Home run number 37 on the year. And the Indians move in front now, 3 to nothing. Well, this guy's been a real pain in the backside so far in this series. I mean, this is his second home run here in three days, so he is really seeing the ball well now. Now batting. Here's the switch hitting Nick Swisher. Nick Swisher. As he lines this one out to center, and he's got himself a base hit. And when you see a guy rip one like this, one pitch after the previous guy left the yard, you know you're dealing with a pitcher whose mind is elsewhere. That'll snap you back to reality, though, pretty quick. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. He's set. Now the pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. But the Indians add to their lead thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's 3-0 in favor of the Tribe. Aaron Hicks. 
makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now the pitch. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line. And so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put a one in that loss column. Pedro Florimon will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Ball one. One oh. The next pitch. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. One one on the way. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. There to pull it in is Brantley, and there are two gone now. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category. Brian Dozier will dig in here. Now here's the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Pitch on the way. That's it to short. Does he have another 1 2 3 inning? And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Yep, maybe a shot here now with two away as they finally get another base runner. He'd retired six in a row prior to this base hit, so he's had his way with these guys for the past few innings. Joe Maurer will dig in. He singled his first time around. Here's the first offering. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's over. Now you got to regroup after the two out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so the inning's not over yet. Not by a long shot. Comes set. Now the pitch. That's, That's over, that's but low. It's a ball and a strike. Pause. Now the pitch. Upstairs with this one as they try to change the eye level here. It's two and one. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Two out with the man at first. 2-2. Two, two. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Two two one more time. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. After the first two hitters, he looked well on his way to a shutdown inning. Now, all of a sudden, you give up back-to-back -back singles, and they've turned this into a threat after all. Sal Dahl will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Now the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. He's set. Now the pitch. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. After walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half half. From the belt, the pitch. This ball is grounded foul. The 
the 0-2 once more. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Another 0-2 home. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. Still now on 1-2, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. A big pitch here, 1-2. And, and this is going to be a foul ball. Here he comes again, 1-2. This is foul right side. Here's another 1-2. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at-bat. Here he comes on two and two. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. On to first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Brett Hayes will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Brett Hayes. And here's the first pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And now a pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here's the pitch. Fouled straight back. Now another 0-2. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout for out number one. Boy, that's a really nice play there behind the plate. He doesn't panic. He takes his time and makes the good throw on to first. So score that a strikeout with a 2-3 put out for good measure. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. That's hit sharply, but right at the third baseman, Plouffe. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. And there's a look at his pitch count so far. You can see he's already thrown 37 pitches for strikes. That shows me that he's been able to work the zone effectively to this point. Jose Ramirez will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch on the way. And he'll try to hold up on the pitch inside, but to no avail, and that's the first strike. Here it comes. Now a cutter down around his shoe tops as he hops out of the way. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. The 1-1. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Cleveland's out in front, three to nothing. Oswaldo Arcia will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Oswaldo Arcia. First pitch to him. And a ball, one and oh. The 1-0. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. 
one one pitch on the way no offer on that one two balls and a strike and the pitch swing and a ball hit well to the right side but this will get into the crowd here's the two and two offering and he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. I don't think he knows either. That was that was almost in the on deck circle. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in. As he'll take a look at ball one. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and play off. The 1-0 home. 2-0 now. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. 2-0 count, the pitch. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a liner toward right center. Base hit. Yeah, this fastball gets on him pretty quick at 96 miles an hour. And he does just about all you can do with it. And that's take it the other way for a base hit. In now, Osmil Pinto, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. 1-0. Swing and a line drive to left. Brantley is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Standing in now, Eric Fryer, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's ready now. The pitch. Slider. And that's in there for strike two. And now 0-2 here. This is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. He waits. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Twins wind up stranding one. They trail it here three to nothing. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the speedy center fielder, Michael Bourne. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now here's the first pitch. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Hicks is there to put this one away, and it's a very quick out to start the fifth. Uh, he's just trying to get a fastball in there to start the inning. Ball winds up getting hit pretty well, but not well enough to do any damage. The one pitch out. Carlos Santana will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. First offering on the way. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. You don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Come on, Quinn. The 1-0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Three runs, seven hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a bouncing ball, foul. Now the 1-2. 
Swing and a high pop-up right in the center of the diamond. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Now batting, left fielder, Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley will dig in now. One for two to this point. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. One oh on the way. Ah, well done as he takes this the other way and laces it into left field, a base hit. Well, he'd had some high stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much needed one, two, three, but he's gonna have to get in the stretch here after all. Brandon Moss will get another shot. He homered his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! So a two-run homer down the line in right field, his second of the game, as the Indians have now opened up a 5-0 lead. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game. And it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Here's the switch hitting Nick Swisher. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. That home run a moment ago, 407 feet officially. the pitch now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute this may be tough behind the plate and he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning Indians get a couple of runs here on the strength of this two run home run middle of the afternoon here at Target Field it's the Indians five and the twins nothing Aaron Hicks will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ball game to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. one -oh pitch now. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's five to one. Even though this is only one run, this is important, not just because it gets them on the board, but also because they needed something to get the dugout going a bit. Give them some life. Into the box, Pedro Florimon. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Now here it comes. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. 
Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Grounded foul. Still two strikes. Another 1-2 delivery. Now here's a slow grounder to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Oh, no. The second baseman, number two, Brian Dozier. Brian Dozier will dig in with one in and one away. And now pitch on the way. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Come on, let's get a hit. Now the pitch. Here we go. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the pitch. Line to left, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way, but it's one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard, and this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. So here's Joe Maurer. As he swings at the first pitch and lifts a fly ball out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. One for the Twins and it comes courtesy of Aaron Hicks. We're through five here this afternoon. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Jared Burton will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Jared Burton. Jason Kipnis will stand in to get things going for the Indians in their half of the sixth. Second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Let's go, Twins! 